So when I kind of realized that my face was half paralyzed, I'm like, mom, I have a stroke. <laughs> and I need to go to the hospital right now. And so I, they rushed me to the hospital. And I, when, I, when I told them I had paralysis, partial paralysis in my face already, they accepted me in right away. Because they, if you, in, in emergency rooms, if you have high symptoms of dangerous things, they let you in first. And so they let me in. And, uh, but when the lady, when the nurse saw me right away, she's like, I don't think you have a stroke. I think you have Bell's palsy. Um, but eventually, so when a stroke happens, it's from the brain and a Bell's palsy is from the facial nerve. So when, uh, to, to rule out stroke, they had to take me to get a CAT scan. And when I got the CAT scan, they realized that my brain was fine and everything was going to be okay. And so that's how they ruled out stroke and they knew it was Bell's palsy. And so they say slurred speech is one of the main things for stroke or, or blacking out. You won't black out with Bell's palsy. And the only reason you have slurred speech when you have Bell's palsy is because you can't move one, <laughs> one side of your face. And so it kind of sounds slurred, but it really isn't. Um, that's also another indication. But if you have Bell's palsy, you will act perfectly normal. Um, you're just you with a paralyzed face. That's basically it.